In the event that we erase the boundaries, the most enticing celestial body I recognize might be extraordinary in our sky. This particular Betelgeuse is a massive red supergiant star, and if you were to position it where our sun is, it would extend all the way out to Jupiter's orbit. It is so massive and extremely unstable that the star is about to explode, though it's not as straightforward as it seems. These enormous creatures may appear in the universe, such as the most extreme supernovae, which could alter everything that we see, and even things we don't. Though we cannot see it clearly, Betelgeuse is considered a symbol of a red supergiant star, frequently much larger than our sun. Brian Cox, along with other astronomers, predicts that it could explode in a supernova soon. People have grown increasingly concerned about what's going to happen because the James Webb Space Telescope has been recording remarkable images of the star. When exactly will Betelgeuse erupt into a supernova, and how significant will the impact on Earth be? Let's investigate. A star in the magnificent Orion constellation, which shines so brightly that it was noticed by even ancient civilizations, the splendid star Betelgeuse, resides on the eastern shoulder of Orion, ranking as the second largest star in that constellation. Its location gives it the name Shoulder Star. Betelgeuse is likely one of the brightest stars visible in the night sky. In addition to its brilliance, the star emits an unusual red hue, which, as we investigate, could potentially signal danger. This red hue has long been studied by humanity. Greek astronomer TMY observed Betelgeuse long ago. The first thing people recognized about stars was their hue, and it was noted that Betelgeuse seemed to have a reddish-orange glow, an alarming indication. In recent years, scientists have been studying the star with even more precision and now have a much deeper comprehension of what makes it so strikingly luminous. One of these factors is that the star undergoes substantial variations in brightness, fluctuating by as much as 0.6. Betelgeuse is a variable star, meaning its brightness changes periodically. In 2019, researchers discovered new behaviors of the star that had never been observed before. Even though Betelgeuse didn't stop shining entirely, its brightness significantly decreased. It dimmed to a level of around 1.6 prompting experts to investigate why such an irregularity was occurring in one of the brightest stars in the sky. They were hoping to find an explanation for Betelgeuse's erratic behavior. According to their findings, Betelgeuse might burst into a supernova at any given moment. Brian Cox, a renowned scientist, shared this alarming evaluation. As an outstanding professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester and the Royal Society Professor for Public Engagement with Science, his opinion carries weight. He also presents popular science TV shows and shares his perspective in books. Brian Cox explained that Betelgeuse seems to be set to explode in the future, a stellar bomb that could erupt with little warning. To support this claim, the James Webb Space Telescope has provided substantial evidence. Although several peculiarities about Betelgeuse have raised many questions, why does Betelgeuse act so strangely in terms of its variability? With the new data, Betelgeuse has earned its place as a prime candidate for a supernova. Researchers have no idea when the explosion will take place. The fact that the mass of Betelgeuse is nearly double that of the Sun supports this classification. Generally, stars with at least several times the mass of the Sun are thought to be potential supernova candidates. The plot thickens, though, because scientists have used different tools to investigate Betelgeuse, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, to uncover mysteries surrounding the star. What they've uncovered is still shrouded in mystery. Betelgeuse was born on August 31st a very long time ago, and since then, the star has been offering odd signals that make its future uncertain. What did they discover? They detected peculiar light waves emanating from the star, which raised further intrigue. But this wasn't the only strange occurrence. It brings us back to the fact that Betelgeuse is a variable star, fluctuating in brightness. There were reports that Betelgeuse had regular darkening episodes akin to sunspots on our own sun, but the cycles were different. It shifts between bright and dim phases twice as rapidly as it once did, another odd sign that Betelgeuse is misbehaving. Researchers observed that in February 2021, the star's dimming cycle reached a brightness band of plus 1.61. This was not long after the star had experienced a massive dimming event, marking the beginning of its abnormal behavior and raising alarms that Betelgeuse may be coming to an end soon. Between 2019 and 2020, it fell to its lowest point, and many experts were convinced that the star would explode within the next 100,000 years. But when Betelgeuse brightened once more after this unprecedented dimming, things became even more bewildering. Physicist Andrea Dupree from the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics noted that the star was now 150% brighter than usual, 
making it the seventh brightest star in the sky. Researchers were astonished to see a red glow emerging from the southern part of the sky. The situation only became more puzzling. This development sparked numerous hypotheses regarding the nature of Betelgeuse's great dimming. It's essential to highlight that not every star radiates the same red glow that Betelgeuse does. This glow marks Betelgeuse as a red supergiant star, the final phase of a star's life before its death. This red hue is the result of a surface temperature around 3,500 Kelvin, significantly cooler than the outer layer of the Sun, which is around 5,500 Kelvin. Since Betelgeuse is cooler than the Sun, it radiates less energy per square meter of surface, though it is much larger and on the brink of exploding. We should also consider the extraordinary dimming event that Brian Cox questions. Does it really imply that Betelgeuse will explode? The fact that Betelgeuse is already in its red supergiant phase indicates that it is nearing the end of its life as a star. A star in this phase will often dim as it dies, and this is something scientists can detect. However, Betelgeuse's recent unusual behavior has caused scientists to concentrate even more on monitoring it. Today, multiple telescopes are focused on this mysterious dimming event, trying to gather more insights. Things continue to get even more intriguing since researchers still don't have a deep understanding of Betelgeuse's behavior. Scientists, using cutting-edge instruments, are watching the star closely. The James Webb Space Telescope is one of the most valuable tools since its launch in 2021, helping astronomers gather new, valuable data about Betelgeuse. The telescope's remarkable images of the dimming event have shown that it caused an enormous mass ejection, roughly 400 billion times more significant than a typical coronal mass ejection. The James Webb Space Telescope can additionally observe things invisible to the naked eye, like specific wavelengths of light and frequencies, making it an invaluable asset. Researchers have observed dust clouds forming on the star's surface that appear to be like leaves suspended in space, an odd but fascinating finding. To grasp the full magnitude of what's coming, we must understand what happens when a red supergiant like Betelgeuse reaches the end of its life. At its core, the star is engaged in a relentless struggle against gravity. For millions of years, nuclear fusion has balanced this inward pull by generating outward pressure. But eventually, even the vast fuel reserves of Betelgeuse will run dry. When that happens, the core collapses in a fraction of a second. This sudden implosion triggers a colossal rebound, a supernova explosion that tears the star apart in a dazzling display of cosmic power. In the case of Betelgeuse, this supernova will release more energy in a few seconds than our sun will emit over its entire 10 billion year lifespan. This explosion will produce not just light, but also cosmic rays, neutrinos, and gravitational waves, all of which will be detected here on Earth. Scientists around the globe are preparing for that moment. Neutrino observatories buried deep beneath the ground, such as Supercamio Kande in Japan, are on alert for any spike in neutrino activity, an early sign of core collapse. Gravitational wave detectors like LIGO and Virgo, which captured the first ripples in space-time from merging black holes in 2015, could also register the shockwaves from Betelgeuse's demise. It would be the first time in human history that we witness a supernova not only in visible light but also through the fundamental fabric of space-time. But the question remains, when? Astronomers are divided. Some estimate Betelgeuse may explode within a few decades, others believe it might take another hundred thousand years. In cosmic terms, both are the blink of an eye, but for us, they feel like eternity. What adds to the mystery is how Betelgeuse has already deviated from traditional models. Its brightness fluctuates irregularly. Its shape is not perfectly spherical, but rather distorted, as if writhing in unseen tension. Advanced imaging from the Very Large Telescope in Chile has even shown giant convective cells on its surface, vast boiling regions larger than Earth itself. The star pulses, stretches, and breathes in a chaotic rhythm, suggesting it's already entering the final stages of life. Despite all this, Betelgeuse has remained remarkably elusive. It's as though the universe has offered us a grand spectacle but drawn the curtain indefinitely. For now, all we can do is wait and watch. And there is something poetic in that. To watch a star in its final acts is to glimpse the very cycle that gave rise to our own existence. The carbon in our bodies, the oxygen we breathe, the iron in our blood, all were forged in the hearts of ancient stars like Betelgeuse. When they died, they scattered these elements across the cosmos, seeding the raw materials for planets, life, and consciousness. So as we observe Betelgeuse, trembling, fading, glowing, we are witnessing our origin story play out once more. Its death will not be the end, but a beginning for something new. Somewhere in the cold stretches of space, the elements it forges in death may eventually form another world, 
another sun, another chance. Until then, Betelgeuse hangs in the sky, a cosmic countdown we cannot hear, a candle flickering in slow motion. And when it finally goes out, the night will never be the same. Color has made it a subject of intense research. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is already in the final phase of its life cycle. The star's massive size means that it will eventually exhaust its nuclear fuel, leading to its ultimate collapse and subsequent explosion into a supernova. This explosive event will release an astonishing amount of energy, significantly altering the surrounding cosmic environment. Despite the many concerns regarding the precise timing of Betelgeuse's supernova, astronomers are in agreement about one thing. The star's eventual demise will be one of the most significant cosmic events to occur in our lifetime. The data being collected by the most advanced telescopes today is helping to unravel the mysteries of the star, providing crucial information about the processes that occur during the final stages of a star's life. By studying the behavior of Betelgeuse, scientists can learn more about stellar evolution and gain insights into the broader mechanics of the universe. Moreover, the explosion of Betelgeuse will likely leave behind a lasting impact on the surrounding space, enriching the interstellar medium with heavy elements that will eventually be incorporated into new stars, planets, and potentially even life forms. This creation-destruction cycle is a fundamental aspect of the life cycle of stars, and Betelgeuse's supernova will be a prime example of this cosmic process. As we continue to monitor stars like Betelgeuse in other stages of evolution, astronomers are using cutting-edge technology to better understand the forces at play. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unparalleled ability to observe distant objects in the universe, is providing a wealth of data that will shape our understanding of stellar dynamics. The images and measurements captured by this telescope are helping to shed light on the complex mechanisms that drive a star's evolution from its birth to its ultimate demise. Although the death of a star may seem like a cataclysmic event, in fact, it is a crucial step in the ongoing cycle of stellar evolution. The elements released during a supernova contribute to the formation of new stars, planets, and potentially even life. In this sense, the death of Betelgeuse, and stars like it, is not an end, but rather a transformation that fuels the birth of new celestial bodies. As such, Betelgeuse's supernova will play a significant role in the ongoing evolution of the universe, contributing to the creation of the building blocks for future generations of stars and planets. Up until Betelgeuse finally explodes, astronomers will continue to study and observe its behavior, piecing together the clues that will help them predict its future. The star's fluctuations in brightness and brightening cycles, as well as its other unusual behaviors, make it a fascinating subject of study. With every new discovery, scientists are learning more about the processes that govern the life cycle of stars and, by extension, the universe's own evolution. The mystery surrounding Betelgeuse's fate serves as a reminder of the vastness and complexity of the cosmos. The universe is filled with untold wonders, and the study of stars like Betelgeuse allows us to glimpse the incredible processes that shape the fabric of reality. As we continue to explore the cosmos and deepen our understanding of the forces that govern it, we are reminded of the fragile, transient nature of life itself. The stars, including Betelgeuse, shine brightly in the night sky, offering a glimpse into the extraordinary and ever-changing universe in which we live. As the study of Betelgeuse continues, astronomers are uncovering more details about its complex nature. The star's vast size and unstable behavior offer valuable insights into the life cycle of massive stars. The process of stellar evolution is both awe-inspiring and mysterious, and Betelgeuse provides an exceptional case study due to its proximity and peculiarities. One of the most intriguing aspects of Betelgeuse is the potential for its supernova to not only affect the local cosmic environment but also to provide an unprecedented opportunity to observe such an event in real time. With modern tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists can now examine the star's surface, its behavior, and surrounding dust clouds, allowing them to refine their representations of stellar death. Such observations are essential in understanding the immense forces at play as a star like Betelgeuse transitions from a red supergiant to the explosive phase of its life cycle. The eventual explosion will create a shockwave that will travel through space, influencing nearby regions. This process enriches the interstellar medium, giving it the seeds of essential elements that play a role in the formation of new stars and planetary systems. In the end, the death of Betelgeuse will play a role in the ongoing evolution of the universe, underscoring the interconnectedness of cosmic phenomena across vast distances. As scientists refine their models and gather more observational data, Betelgeuse remains at the forefront of stellar research. Its unpredictable dimming events, surface activity, and asymmetrical gas ejections continue to challenge long-standing theories, 
prompting the development of new frameworks to explain such phenomena. These anomalies make Betelgeuse not only a case study of a dying star but also a source of innovation in astrophysical understanding. Furthermore, the collaborative efforts between ground-based observatories and space telescopes allow for a multi-wavelength approach in monitoring Betelgeuse. By studying its emissions in infrared, ultraviolet, and radio frequencies, astronomers are constructing a more holistic picture of the star's behavior and its surrounding environment. This multidimensional view enhances our comprehension of stellar atmospheres and the mechanisms driving mass loss in supergiants. The importance of such research extends beyond Betelgeuse itself. By unlocking the secrets of its life and impending death, astronomers gain valuable insight into the evolutionary pathways of other massive stars across the galaxy. This knowledge helps refine models of galactic chemical enrichment, stellar population dynamics, and even the origins of heavy elements essential for planetary formation and biological processes. In time, Betelgeuse's final act, a dramatic and luminous supernova, will not only illuminate the night sky but also illuminate the depths of scientific inquiry. It will serve as both a cosmic spectacle and a critical moment in astrophysical observation, allowing humanity to witness firsthand one of the universe's most transformative events. When that moment comes, it will resonate far beyond the confines of astronomy. It will capture the imagination of the public, inspire future generations of scientists, and reaffirm our deep, enduring connection to the stars. After all, the elements that make up our bodies were forged in the hearts of stars like Betelgeuse. In watching Betelgeuse, we are, in a way, looking at our own origins, and our future. The story of this magnificent red supergiant is not just one of death and destruction, but of rebirth, renewal, and the unbroken cycle of creation that defines the cosmos.